Hi guys, it's Elaine here, the Animal Reiki Lady. Say hello to Libby. I am uh, I'm here in the Rocky Mountains. I'm house sitting and dog sitting and one of the little doggies here is this beautiful special needs baby named Libby. Libby's my little cuddle bug all weekend. Yep, she has no, she can't, she can't see, she can't hear, but she loves like crazy. Mwah, she's a good girl. Um, so I will be setting her down in a moment, but um, it is her, the other two dogs here, and a dog here in spirit who crossed to the other side that are bringing the message today that I want to share with you. And that is that you have the ability to speak with your pet on the other side. And this is not a metaphor and it's not hyperbole. You have the ability to speak with your pet on the other side. And I'm going to give you a little exercise today, a little thing that you can play with, um, that you can give it a try to see if you can make that kind of, if you can make that connection with your pet on the other side. So let me set Libby down. So for those of you, before I do, I don't want to set her down. Um, for those of you who may be catching one of my videos for the very first time, my name is Elaine. I'm an animal Reiki master, and I help people make really deep spiritual healing connections with the animals in their lives. And that's mutual healing, healing of the animals, healing of yourselves. Um, it's, it's just the most beautiful thing that we can have when we work with our animals or when animals work with us. Um, but part of that has led me to being able to connect with animals on the other side and to share with you the messages that they bring to me and to help you make those same kinds of connections. So hang on a quick second. Um, I'm also not traditional, okay? <laughs> I'm a bit of a mad scientist when it comes to these things. So I don't um, like sit down at a desk with the perfect microphone and and the perfect lighting and like, no, none of that. I give you, because none of the animals care. They don't, they don't care about that one little bit. And so I just come to you naturally with the messages that I, that they wish to share. All right, hang on while I set her down. Just a sec. Here you go, baby girl. Over here. There you go. She may wander back in. Uh, let's see if I see any of the other, I don't see the other dogs here. Okay. So what do I want to share with you about how you can make these connections? I have shared this example before, but it's the perfect analogy. And it's the analogy of water. Water is in everything. We are so made up of water and it, it creates, and she's already back. Um, it, it, it's a beautiful way to, for me to demonstrate this. So when we freeze water, it becomes ice. And the ice is hard and solid and cold, but it's still water. When it melts, it becomes liquid, a liquid that we could drink or wash with, get wet with, swim in the pool with. That's water. Then when that water is boiled, it floats off into steam or even with the sunshine, um, a puddle will dry up and float off into steam and that steam rises off into the air. It's still a form of water just in a different way. And then if we really want to take this to the next level, if we were thinking about reincarnation, um, then that steam eventually comes back down as rain and we could start the process all over again with the ice, the water, the steam. Um, so that is the same way with our animals and their little physical bodies. And if you want to take it to the nth degree, it's the same way for us humans too, and our physical bodies. Our spirit resides in this little body. And when we cross, when animals cross, use the word die, transition, cross, cross over, pass away, all means the same thing. When our spirit leaves its physical body, where does it go? It's not dead. I promise you, that is the main message that all animals want me to share. The main thing that they want me to share is that we do not need to fear that transition. Why are their lives so much shorter than ours? So they can teach us that it's a natural progression to move into that next state and that they are still able to connect with us. And while I do private readings for clients and I can help you get those messages, the things they want to say are meant for you. You, they want you to know what their message is. And that's what this little, um, this inspiration is today. So the inspiration I got to share with you today has to do if we talk about the science behind this. So I can, I can preach to you all day long and I can tell you stories all day long about the animals that I've worked with and the animals that I've connected with and how I have lost, I have no fear, none. I, I have no fear of, of crossing over, of death, of end of life, mm -mm, not at all. It's gone. They've completely helped me release that. 
And it really helps me to enjoy my life now even further because I do things now that I couldn't imagine that I would have done in the past. So what had they shared with me today? All right, so we're gonna talk about quantum physics. I kind of got off track there for a minute. We're gonna talk about quantum mechanics. Now, I'm not gonna go down the whole science road for you, but you can go and do some of this research for yourself. There is a spot at the center of every atom. So if we break everything down to its core, to its smallest component, whether it is a pen or me or an animal or a tree or a piece of wood, we boil it all down to its tiniest component there's something in it called the zero point. The zero point is the same for everything. Every atom, when we take everything that we can see, it's all just energy moving at a different vibration and a different rate of speed anyway. But when we boil it down to that tiny atom, we all have this zero point. So the way to connect with your animal who's crossed to the other side is to connect with their zero point, your zero point and their zero point. And that's the exercise that I'm going to give you in just a second. So this, uh, we all share this. Now, I'm an animal Reiki master. And one of the reasons that I use Reiki as the, as the foundation of everything that I do is because it teaches us, number one, how to quiet our mind. It teaches us, number two, how to trust and release doubt. And animals do the same thing. No animal doubts anything ever. They never question anything. They never doubt anything. They have full trust in their ability to live their life the way that they choose to live their life. Um, where was I going with that as we go down the, the next rabbit hole? Um, so let's see, quantum physics. I'm losing my train of thought. Okay, here we go. Um, so that zero point in quantum physics means that we are all one. And Reiki helps us, one, quiet our mind. Two, it helps us to release doubt. And three, we know that we are all connected. In some way, we are all connected. Have you ever felt that really special connection with another person, with a car, with a pet, with the ocean? When, when you feel that pull, when you know that there's a connection, it's because there is. Uh, it's because there is a connection. And so when our animals cross, this is what they want me to share with you, is how you can get to that zero point. So we are all one. And that zero point exists in all of us. And that is this not like something I'm making up. Go check it out for yourself. The zero point of every atom. So the way that I think we can connect, especially if this is new to you. So I can always do a reading. Happy to do them for you. I can always take you on a guided journey. Those are fun. Um, where I take you on a guided journey to meet your, your animal across the other side. Um, and ooh, the things they share then. But ultimately you want to be able to do this you want to be able to communicate with connect with feel understand know that your animal companion is still there for you so i visualize it now as part of reiki when we breathe in we breathe in love and light we breathe in and, and i know everybody says that breathe in love and light yeah i look at it as a physical thing there is no empty space this energy that is everywhere in all things, including the air that surrounds us. Uh, I say just rub your hands together and then pull them apart a little bit. That, that heat you feel in there, that, that solid air that you feel, it's not empty space. So when we breathe it in, if you don't want to breathe in light, just breathe in air. Breathe in energy. Breathe in the quantum field that surrounds everything, that field of all potential. Breathe it into your body. I love to imagine pulling it up through my nose and letting it flow into every cell of my being. Just let it flow. Your cells do a little happy dance when you do that because they're like, yes, I love to breathe that in. I love to feel alive. And now what I'd, I'd invite you to do, it takes just a couple of minutes, is when you close your eyes, don't do this if you're driving, when you close your eyes and breathe in, I like to imagine this light. I, and, it, and it fills my core. So your core down here, you can't see it on the camera, but about an inch below your belly button, that's your core. If you ever follow anything about chakras, there it's like your, your sacral and your root chakra. But that whole core area right down there, where a lot of, uh, well, a lot of us actually hold our stress down here. But I breathe in and I imagine I'm pulling in all this love, all this really good stuff. I just feel like it feels really good. I breathe it in everything positive I can possibly breathe in. 
I breathe it into my core. <clears throat> and then I imagine that in my core is like a sparkler. Do you know what a sparkler is? You know, like a, at, a, at a celebration, it's those long silver things. They, they have some kind of, I don't know what's on them that lights them up, but you light it with a match and it sparkles. And all the sparkles go. And the sparkles are, um, it, there's brightness all around, there's light all around, there's glowing, there's, there's little shooting sparkles all off it. Imagine that there's this beautiful sparkler right at the center of my core. Because if you look at a sparkler, if you look at the very part where the heat is, you get this hot white light. It's this bright, tiny, um, almost blinding if you stared at it for too long, but it's so small and so hot and so white. That's what I want you to imagine in your core. Hold one hand there. Just hold one hand there. Imagine that your hand is touching your sparkler's light. And then in your mind's eye, imagine your beautiful animal companion and that they are a sparkler. They always were a sparkler. You saw them at their best. They sparkled brighter than any animal you'd ever seen before. Imagine their bright light. And I like to hold a hand out. So I like to hold my hand out and imagine that I am touching their sparkler. And then feel it. Feel that sparkler from them flow into your sparkler for you, your sparkler flowing right into their sparkler. Did you ever touch, <clears throat> excuse me, did you ever touch two sparklers together? You have two lit sparklers, touch them together and they flare. That's what I want you to feel. That's what I want you to feel. And the moment you feel that, the moment you feel that connection, that connection between their life force and your life force, that's when you know it's real. That's when you know that they're still with you. And I invite you to pick up a pen and paper at that very moment and write down whatever comes into your mind. They are sending you a message. Write down whatever comes into your mind. Some people like to call it automatic writing. Some people like to call it inspired writing. None of that matters because animals don't care about that either. They just want to get a message to you. Write whatever comes into your mind. Go back and read it. Trust what it has to say. Know that the message is for you. And know that when you feel that, when you feel those two sparklers connect, I love to use that visual, but when you feel it, that's when you know that your animal still exists for you, that they are available to you, that they will always be by your side, that they will always be your light. And you can always connect with them and you can ask them anything you want. And if we even want to get a little bit more, oh, little Debbie. <laughs> If you even want to get a, a little bit more spiritual about this, it's like the universe trying to speak to you through your animal. And they have such a message for you and such a message for you because what do we all want? We just want our lives to be better. We want to live our best possible life and we are looking for answers. And I think that your animals have those answers and they have a way to share it with you. Well, that was today's message. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me as always. If you have questions, you put them in the comments below. Let me know if you like the video. I know I'm supposed to say this too, but I, I don't care. I'm a mad scientist about this. If you would love to, click the subscribe button or click the like button or put a comment in down below. Regardless, I hope that this message has helped in some way. And until the very next time, may the animals light your way and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.